we are going to look at the continuous time mark of change. Consider an individual is hx at time t equals to 0. At any t, life can only be in one and only one of many states. For example, if life is in state 0 at, at time t, life cannot be in state 1 or state 2 at time t, and vice versa. Let yu equals to i be the individual is in state i at h u. Then, we can say that y x plus t for any t greater than 0 is a stochastic process. Let e also be the state space for these situations. Let's look at the disability income model. In this ability income model, a person can be from state zero can go from state zero to state one, or state one to state zero, or state zero to state two, where state zero is healthy, state one is disabled, and state two is deaf. The individual can undergo a series of jump until it will start at state 2. For this disability income model, we have the transitions probability as TPUIJ where an individual HU can move from state I to state J at time T. The next probability is the occupancy probability, which is TPXII bar. TPXII bar means that an individual is in state I and will remain in state I at time T. Throughout, throughout times U to times T, this is U, throughout times U to times T, the individual never leaves state I. There is a difference between TPUII and TPUII bar. For TPUII bar, the individual never leaves state I. So, for example, you look at this timeline, you can see that from time 0 to time T, it will remain in state I and never leave state I. But for TPUII, individual can start with state I, and with state i but in between 0 to t it can leave state i to state j state k state l or any state and come back to state i at time t so now let's look at the continuous case of uh, jump for the markov change we have uh, time 0 to time t and then we can divide the interval into a smaller interval let's say it is delta t to delta t and so on at here the transitions probability matrix would be p0 at here the transitions probability matrix would be p delta t and here would be p to delta t. From calculus, the first principle of differentiations, we can say that d over dt pt equals to limit from delta t approaching 0 for P, T plus delta T minus P, T over delta T. Here, for this case, we can use Chapman, comma, Gorov. We know that P, T plus delta T, we can rewrite it as P times T 
P times delta T. So we can factor out PT here, then we are going to get PT limits from delta T approaching 0. Here, when we factor out PT, we are going to be left with P delta T. Remember, all are in matrices except for delta t which is this is delta t delta t which is in scalar okay minusing when we factor out this one this would be identity matrix divided by delta t this whole thing here We call it the transition intensity matrix. Or it is the rate of jump. See, because it is a differentiation, so it is the rate of jumping, jumping to uh, another state or we call this matrix as Q. So here we are going to have PT times with Q. What is in Q matrix? Let's look at the disability income model again. We have zero. We have one, we have two. Okay, the rate of jumping from zero to one will be mu. Here we are using u, so I, I will stick with u. Usually we are using x, right? So mu u plus t zero one here will be mu u plus t zero. Two here would be mu u plus t one two. Zero also can remain in state zero. Remaining in state zero is not being in state one and not going to state one and state two. So the rate of remaining in state zero is negative mu zero one u plus t plus mu u plus t zero two so the negative value of this one and then remaining in state one would be whatever that is not here not going out from state one because this one can also go to state zero which is mu u plus t one zero so remaining in state one would be negative mu u plus t 1 0 plus mu u plus t 1 2 and then remaining in state 2 here would be not going to uh, any states here not going to state 0 not going to state uh, 1 so it would be negative mu two zero plus mu two one. So from here we can write the transitions matrix as the transitions intensity matrix as your Q equals to 0, 1, 2 this is from state 0, 1 and 2 going to state 0, 1, 2 so for this case it will be this is mu let's say for H 
x plus t in general mu x plus t 0 1 mu x plus t 0 2 and this one is whatever that uh, the negative of this plus this we denote it as negative mu x plus t 0 1 so here would be mu x plus t 1 0 mu x plus t 1 2 this is negative mu x plus t 1 so this is 0 ok here would be mu x plus t 2 0 mu x plus t 2 1 here is negative mu x plus t 2 we can denote that mu x plus t i is equals to summations of k equals to 0 where k is not equals to i up until n mu x plus t I K. This would be the general. We call this the transition intensities metric. When you are adding up the rows of this transition intensity metric, it has to be equals to zero for each of the rows. Okay, that's it for the continuous Markov change model. Thank you.